Uh, we from the Hundi Liebe Club, we have some special questions to you. First of all, our questions is, uh, what was the reason and how did you start uh, with the animal protection? Please tell with us. With animal protection? Okay, when I came in Cyprus, I have to stay one year at home. And because I'm not allowed to work. It's just low. So, when first time I come outside, I found two puppies. With two, two puppies. Uh, we was uh, renting a flat for this time and uh, oh. land law it wasn't allowed. So we tried to rehome one of them because anyway we planned after to change flat to, to the house, you know, for the dogs. And we tried to uh, rehome one of them because one we like to keep with us. Uh, so we couldn't manage. So now so I start to understand something going on with, uh, you know, with this country because it's it's impossible to uh, not rehome one puppy in you know in in country, and uh, it's like that, you know. And so so you start. I yes, I meet some people uh, who was already in protection of animals in Cyprus. And I start, yes, they show me the shelters, they show me pounds and what they doing and what is going on, you know. And between that, uh, when we try to do something for one puppy, in our door come another one puppy, mm. big dog. So, you but, yes, we home this big puppy and... Uh, it was very nice woman, very nice family and this dogs. Last year it's his was li life yet. So and we move uh, our house after to area where it's allowed the dogs. So one puppy it's also we couldn't manage to quickly make a gates and everything and it was beat by car unfortunately. Uh, so like that, yes. So you continue? Yes, I continue. Because, you know, uh, <clears throat> maybe when you come to, to like a tourist to the country, you never will realize uh, this, because uh, this problem have. Outside you can see cats only, but many cats. But dogs uh, sometimes kill by car on the road, yes. Uh, but how usually for a short time, for one week, you're not gonna realize, because people, or municipalities are usually uh, pick up dogs from the families, from houses and from street and put to municipalities. That's it. Make a clean road yeah. from the animals. And uh, when did you come to Cyprus for the first time? 1999. And uh, when did you start with the animal protection? From? About 2002. Ah, and uh, when you started with the, with the animal protection you started uh, more intensive to yes more intensive from beginning i start to go shelters to help them uh -huh. and uh, from from uh, 2000 uh, already or from 2000 already from 2000 already and of course i start bring it home also some dogs uh -huh. Indian dogs with broken legs and uh, how many dogs did you keep at home then uh, yes uh, my own dogs now 11 Eleven. Eleven. Oh. Yes, and I have now five foster dogs. Eleven and five foster dogs. I have, I have four. Uh, four uh, because uh, because <laughs> when you live in Cyprus and you just sometimes can't pass the dog, you can't. But from from now, of course, it's impossible to save life for all of them. But sometimes you can't. Uh, your uh, your heart will not let you. My heart not let me, but thanks to Germany for help, because without Germany it's going to be very, very difficult. And please tell me, a, a very usual day, an all-large day, a typical day in your life, uh, please describe <laughs> uh, us how it is looking. Uh, I wake up about 6 o'clock in the morning. Because we live in Cyprus, it's weather is not so cold, you know, and not all uh, dogs I have inside the house. So about six of them stay outside, big dogs. 
So I open houses for them and take them to the garden. Between that, I take two small dogs on the leads and go small round area. When I come back, of course, I clean the place. It's about one half half hour, maybe something like that. Until nine, actually, I am stay at home and take care about the dogs. Mm -hmm. After, how usually, dogs who I am fostering need medical care. Medical about, care? Yes, about 10, 11, how usually it's vets. Run to the vets. If I have you to... You run to the vets? To the vets. Yeah. To the vets. It's for, uh, for vaccinating, for, for vaccination, for treatment, for spay, for, for everything. Also, if I need to take dogs some from pound, I go to the pound and take dogs for spay. How fa far it is the pound it's for not, your place? It, it's not far. Uh -huh. It's very close to my place, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, yeah, I get you. <laughs> yes, and um, sometimes I go to help my husband and work. And four o'clock also, I have three dogs at factory. Now four dogs I have at factory. The because factory somebody is the dumped, place where you work? Yes, somebody dumped me another one dog. Okay. In daily, I live uh, in Germany. <laughs> Somebody dumped you another dog. When? Yes, uh, this day when I come in Germany. We have to come in Germany. Okay, and who takes care of it now? And my friend. Oh. Okay. And uh, how is it, does the day continue? Continue. Four o'clock I how usually go to factory, take dogs for walk, because in the morning my husband make it. And after I'm finished about six or seven, I come back at home. Yeah, okay. It's finished and again the same, dogs. <laughs> and uh, sometimes you go even to job, isn't it? Sometimes. So sometimes it's not good for um, my life at all. And from where do you get the power to do all this? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where from this power comes. Uh, from somebody oh. above or from your inside or from you know, somewhere? No, you know it's... Um, Maybe I'm not gonna do that, but because I'm see what job uh, we all together do, and sometimes, many times actually, I see our website Happy End Stories and all stories about dogs and how our organization working. It's make me happy. It's make me happy, and you know, and when I go to pound and take one dog out, I feel happy about it. And when you see the suffering of these creatures, you and you see. Then, then it is a must that you have with them, isn't it? Yes. When I go to the pound and not take out dogs, it's terrible. It's just horrible. I need to take just one to be feel better. If I can't do it, if I cannot do it, it's... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you would not have taken Judy outside, she would have not lived no. any longer. No. Uh, p please, uh, we have heard that, uh, that there are some some institutions where, where dogs, when they arrive there, they have a very short period where they can survive and then mm -hmm. they are killed. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, explain us something about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Look, uh, in uh, Cyprus we have municipalities. Every area has one municipality. So this municipality, because uh, we have a loan now to pay for insurance, not for insurance, for license for the dog. Every year 25 euro per dog. So municipality have to take care about to pick up uh, stray dogs from the streets. So, it's Lima, so it's five municipalities. It's five municipalities working with different way. Most of them just pick up dogs, not advertise them, not publicity, nothing. Sometimes check for microchip. If this dog has a, mi a mi uh, microchip, you can find owner, but if microchip not registered, you never find. So, dogs stay there about maybe two or three weeks, and if nobody pick up him, collect him, killed. Or uh, for, from some municipalities, some shelters pick up dogs. But uh, after two weeks also, this dog been killed. Because uh, it's huge number of stray dogs. It's just unbelievable. And uh, municipalities, uh, if you remember, it's just small cage. And everybody will understand, dog cannot stay for all life in this cage. So, unfortunately, we have to choose dogs. 
We say it. And how many dogs are inside? In the moment, not so many, because uh, municipality, this municipality, Sipsonas, was uh, closed for two weeks, and nobody picked up dogs. So they killed all of them? No, 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 no. Because uh, now, when I am away from Cyprus, Helen goes there. So no. And the other we one? Have dogs. Another municipality is it's Polymedia. When I go in, I go in just only with these two. Just collect dogs from everywhere, from the streets, from the family, unwanted dogs. Uh, some many times it just dumped dogs, but this municipality not kills animals, but not take care about them. So uh, sometimes I don't know what it's better. You know what I mean? They die of hunger. They die, die of because uh, when when you come and you see fifteen puppies, uh, bones and skin with running eyes, hungry because put for them biscuits for big dogs, not for mm. for puppies with diarrhea, with uh, fleas, with <coughs> it's not a chance, you know. They and die no, by themselves. Uh, by, by themselves, it's how usually it is. And all puppies we take from Polymedia, it was so sick, and many of them anyway died at our houses. If you not take puppies first or second day, maximum three days. No chance, no way. Uh, chance half, of course half chance, uh, Renard, but it's a long story. With, with vets and uh, maybe 50% of them anyway died after. I, I wanted to uh, insist with my question uh, once again. Those dogs we, we get from you from Cyprus, uh, from which institutions do they come? They are coming from those institutions who kill, or by active or by passive way, yes. these dogs? Yes, it's 90-90%. 99% of dogs come from municipality count. More they must means. euthanize it or die by sin. Uh -huh. But uh, how usually it's not wild dogs. It's dogs come the, from the fam uh, families. Or dumped, or dumped by shelters, or come to the families, and very very nice dogs. And uh, but because uh, we don't have any laws in Cyprus, very strong about uh, reducing animals. I have another question, dear. Uh, so uh, describe, uh, please, a, a day uh, when when. Uh, you you uh, send the, the dogs to, to our our club and uh, you bring them to the airport and you hand them over to, to our club and uh, because our club gets the uh, um, the dogs from from you and we we rehome uh, these these dogs uh, practically you send the 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 photos to our club by internet we find uh, New families for those yeah. dogs. Yes, yes. It's uh, for for us. It's maybe not uh, so difficult because actually we go to the pound. It's a hard job, of course, but we send the photos, make the photos from the dogs. Uh, we try to make photos. Uh, of course, we choose the dogs and try to make photos from all of them. But sometimes it's impossible. It's also not easy. And uh, after uh, Germany site, you site uh, put in the website, uh, with this way we advertise the dogs. So if one dog is home, we of course vaccinated all dogs. Of course we spayed them and uh, microchipped them and uh, take generally watch by vet. Mm -hmm. And uh, after uh, people come from your organization to Cyprus to collect the dogs. So we Especially wash them, groom them. <laughs> yeah. Few few people come to often <laughs> to Cyprus. Yes. Like like Wolfgang and me. Yes. <laughs> yes and uh, yes and we go to airport Larnaca mm -hmm. and meet you mm -hmm. there. And with this way, yes, dogs come to the families in Germany. And what do you think? What uh, would happen if if our club would not be in the position to pay the uh, the trans costs for the transport anymore, or in the moment if we would would not find a, an airline which would uh, transport our dogs uh, 
to Germany anymore? What would happen in well, Cyprus? I will, I will tell you what is going to happen. Cyprus is a very small country and too many uh, welfare, animals welfare in Cyprus. So to rehome dogs in Cyprus, it's almost impossible. Without organization in Germany, all these dogs, all these dogs, all, I tell you, all dogs, and 100% will be or killed, euthanized, or die by self. Nothing will, uh, uh, no possibility to save mm, any of no, them? No, no. It's a very, very small chance. Maybe from, I will tell you, maybe from 20 dogs, maybe one, maybe one. Because a home in Cyprus, mm, it's it's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, please, uh, what I didn't, uh, I I wanted uh, to ask you, um, except of our club, do you have some uh, some help uh, except of our club? Sometimes uh, we send dogs to owner to another countries, but it's uh, not so many. Maybe three dogs, two dogs in six months. Uh -huh. Not so many. Two dogs in six yes. months, that, that are very few. Yes, because uh, how usually people uh, not really like to work with the pounds. It's difficult. It's difficult to see how they're suffering. It's difficult to see one dog today and didn't see the same dog tomorrow. Because it's dead. Yes, and just people don't, yes, because of the people just don't want to see that. Okay. And. Uh, you never will find volunteers to, to the pound. Never find. So, so uh, you, you work quite alone in animal protection, or you have some help? As uh, uh, not, of course, not alone. I meet a lot of lot of nice people, and uh, in the last three years, especially when we start uh, working with Germany, I meet Helen. So we make our team now very strong team, and she help very very much about computers she's wonderful about uh, talk with people and about working with dogs i think we're just very very good team with her mm -hmm. and she goes with you to the airport too? she goes to our airport she make all computer work all account work all all foster homes control oh H helen Wooden. yes mm -hmm. yes nobody from uh, from you could could work this uh, just alone the work is too huge, I think. Uh, it's a lot of work. No, one person definitely cannot do it all. Mm -hmm. Cannot do it all. Of course, uh, we need more people, but it's very difficult because it's uh, many, many animals welfare in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. And people already involved. Yeah, I got so, you. Yes, point. so, mm -hmm. of course, alone you can't do too mm -hmm. much. Yes, okay, I got yes. your point. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank you for... Uh, that you gave us an, an impression for about your life and your work. Also, it is very sad, but uh, hopefully we can continue our work with you together and expand the help of the animal protection in future. We, we promise you we do our very best. Uh, I'm very thank you, your organization, Hunde Lieben Grenzelos, for this work we do, you doing in Germany, because without the uh, help of German people, uh, we cannot do anything. We promise you that we do all the best with our heart and all. You save many, many lives. Thanks just to you. Thanks to you.